Hi guys, it's Ashra from WizEdu, and today we're going to be going through more examples on type 1 questions, which are coordinate type questions. So for example 1, we are asked to consider a point P such that POQ equals theta, Q lies on the x-axis, and P is the point 12 and 5, where obviously 12 represents our x, and 5 represents y. And we are asked to determine the value of sine theta and cos theta. So we'll follow our steps. Step one, we know, is to plot these points on a Cartesian. So we'll draw our Cartesian over here, and we'll plot the points 12 and 5 on this Cartesian. So we're dealing in the, with the first quadrant because the point 12 and 5 will lie in our first quadrant, right? So we'll just plot that point over here. Roughly, that would be 12 and 5. Now, step two is going to be to construct our triangle. So we know that our y is 5, so that's y, that's 5. This is going to be our r, our radius, which we don't know yet. And this is going to be our x over here, which in this case we are told is 12. So now we can go on to step 3, which is to use Pythagoras to find the missing variable. In this case it's r, so we'll use Pythagoras. We know that x squared plus y squared equals r squared. That's Pythagoras. Okay, and now we can go and substitute our variables in. We know that x is 12 and y is 5. And that's all going to equal r squared. So 144 plus 25 equals r squared. So 169 equals r squared. But we aren't looking for r squared, we're looking for r. So we have to get rid of that exponent by square rooting both sides. And r comes out to be. 13. So now we have x to be 12, y to be 5, and r to be 13. So we can use these to substitute them into our uh, trig functions, which are sine and cos. And just remember that this angle here is our theta. So if that's our triangle and that's theta, sine theta equals y over r, or if you want to visualize it graphically in this case, o over h. Because 5 in this case is our y value and it's also O. So sine theta will equal to 5 over, and we found R to be 13, and in, that, in this case it's also our hypotenuse. So sine theta would be 5 over 13, right? And then for our next bit, we are asked to find the value of cos theta. Now we know the definition of cos is x over R or A over H. Now, we know that x in this case is 12 and r is 13. So we found cos theta to be 12 over 13. And if you look at the triangle over here, 12 is in fact our adjacent, adjacent to theta, so it is a, and 13 is our hypotenuse r. So you can either use x over r or a over h. Just in coordinate type questions, I prefer to use x over r because it makes so much more sense since we found x, y, and r. So for example two, we are given a diagram and we are asked to find the value of cot theta as well as sine theta plus cos theta. Now this is a coordinate type question because we are given a coordinate over here. But what we don't have to do is step one because the coordinates already been plotted on a Cartesian for us. So we can just go ahead and construct our triangle over here. That's our triangle there. And now we know that our y value is eight. And our x value is negative 6. So we'll go ahead and do step 3, which is to use Pythagoras to find our missing um, variable, which in this case is r. So we'll say x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Our reason is Pythagoras, because remember that this is a right angle triangle. So our x in this case is minus 6, our y is 8, and r is unknown. So 6 squared is 36, 8 squared is 64, and that gives us r squared. So now we know that 100 equals r squared, and we can square root both sides to get rid of that exponent, and we have r is equal to 10. So we know this purple line over here is equal to 10, and we have our angle theta over here. Now, it's just important to note that whilst theta isn't inside the triangle, 
you can treat it as such. So you can treat the triangle as if theta was there because of our supplementary reduction formula, because theta inside the triangle is 180 minus this bit here. So the grade 11 and 12 learners, you know what I'm talking about. You know that you can put theta in the triangle there. So now we know that x is negative 6, y is 8, and r is 10. So we can use these to go on to step 4, which is to solve the question by inserting these in our trig ratios. So we know that cot theta is equal to x over y. So we can just substitute x as negative 6 and y as 8, and we've solved cot theta. So cot theta is negative 6 over 8. And our next question asks us to find the value of sine theta plus cos theta. So for sine theta, our ratio is y over r. And for cos theta, our ratio is x over r. So we can just substitute into there. That becomes 8 over 10 plus negative 6 over 10. So it's 8 minus 6, which is 2 over 10. Our denominator is the same, so we can just... Um, add or in this case subtract that and that simplifies to being 1 over 5. So our final answer there is going to be 1 over 5. So for our third example we are told to consider the point t minus 1 and minus 2 so we can already see these are x and y's and we are told that beta is the angle from the positive x-axis to t and we ask to find the value of various trig ratios. So our first step is to be to going to plot our point on a set of axes and in this case um, our point is going to be in the third quadrant because both x and y are negative so it will be somewhere around here so we have our point t minus 1 and minus 2 and we can use this to draw our triangle so we have our triangle over here We know that our x value is negative 1 and our y value is negative 2 and our r is unknown. And we are also told that the angle beta is the angle from the positive x axis to t. So it's that entire angle there. We can just go ahead and fill in our angles here on the Cartesian. So our third step is going to be to use Pythagoras to find the value of r. So we know x squared plus y squared equals r squared from Pythagoras. Now we can substitute x in and y in. That's all going to give us r squared. So 1 plus 4 equals r squared. Now r squared is going to be equal to 5 and we can square root both sides. So r becomes root 5. So we found x to be negative 1, y is negative 2 and r is root 5. Five. So we can use this to solve the question and find the value of cosec beta, right? So the, the definition of cosec is r over y. So cosec beta will be equal to r over y, which in this case would be root 5 over negative 2. And our next question asks us to solve the value of sine beta over cos beta. Now from the outset, um, we know that sine of an angle over cos of the same angle is going to equal to tan of that angle. So we should expect sine beta over cos beta to give us tan beta. So let's go ahead and just prove that. So we can say that sine beta over cos beta is going to be y over r all over x over r. Okay, and we can substitute in our values for y and x and r which is in this case negative 2 over root 5, all over negative 1 over root 5. And that, if you simplify it, is going to become negative 2 over negative 1, which is 2 over 1, which is 2. And if you solved for tan beta, which is y over x, you'd immediately substitute negative 2 over negative 1, which would give you the same answer of 2. So we can see that sine over cos of the same angle is equal to tan of that angle. So that's the solution to example 3. Cosec beta equals root 5 over negative 2, and sine beta over cos beta equals 2, or in this case, that would also be tan beta. Thanks for watching, guys.
Oh, oh, oh.